Hoy, white legs don't leave survivors often. You're some kind of lucky, let me tell you. You came from outside, didn't you? From the civilized lands. Wow. Joshua will want to hear about this. Joshua Graham. He leads our tribe. Thanks to him, the dead horses are strong and safe from our enemies. He'll want to talk to anyone coming up from Southways. I guess that means just you now. Come, I can take you to him. Good cysts. We head east then. Joshua is at our tribe's camp in the Eastern Virgin. What can I tell you? Mostly it's the mountain bighorners. Whole herd of them up on the cliffs there. Usually they're not too aggressive, but lately, whew. My guess is one of the calves got lost somewhere along the way. Bighorners are communal. One missing calf, and the whole herd gets ornery. If that calf doesn't turn up soon, they might very well come down into the valley and attack the camp. Yeah? Hey, thanks. Most of the hunters don't listen when I tell them the problem. Just one thing. Try not to kill any bighorners if you can, yeah? You'll drive the herd off and we'll have to range farther on our hunts. Hmm. You might try luring the baby out with some banana yucca. These bighorners go crazy for the stuff. That's great. I'll help any way I can. What can I tell you? Mostly it's the mountain bighorners. Whole herd of them up on the cliffs there. Usually they're not too aggressive, but lately, whew. My guess is one of the calves got lost somewhere along the way. Bighorners are communal. One missing calf and the whole herd gets ornery. If that calf doesn't turn up soon, they might very well come down into the valley and attack the camp. You might try luring the baby out with some banana yucca. These bighorners go crazy for the stuff. White legs. Nasty bunch. They've been raiding deeper into Zion ever since New Canaan was wiped out. That's what Joshua said. White legs came down from Great Salt Lake in force. Fell on New Canaan before they could mount a defense. Joshua found some of the survivors led by a man named Daniel. Most of them have fled the valley. But Daniel stayed on with the Sorrows tribe. He and Joshua have been arguing over whether to stand and fight the White Legs, or take the Sorrows and the Dead Horses out of the valley. That's the weird part. Normally the White Legs keep to the Great Salt Lake. I don't know what brought them down this far south. What can I tell you? Our advanced scouts leave chalk signs to mark places rich with game. I'm not a full scout yet, so I follow the marks and guide the hunters. Dead horses mark ourselves to commemorate our hunts. When a hunter takes a great beast, or when a youth goes on his first hunt, he gets a tattoo. We came up in the land of the dead horse, though... Why the back when folks called it that, I got no hint. We raided. We fought. We lost. Our enemies drove us back into Zion, and we would have died if it hadn't been for Joshua. Joshua 
and his Kaisar. When Joshua first came to us, he was servant to a man he called Kaisar. He led his master's armies, and we were ready to follow him into war. Then he lost his master's army to a tribe called Ensiar, the Sunset People. When he returned, he was as you saw him, burned, broken, but changed. He led us away from Kaisar, led us to our own destiny in Zion. If it wasn't for Joshua, the dead horses would still be the whipping boys of the Zion Valley. He taught us how to hold our territory, to protect ourselves. He guided us away from Kaisar, and showed us how Kaisar would have destroyed us. Little bit. I met some of their missionaries a few times, but I've never been to their city. Joshua could tell you more. Or Daniel, I imagine. We decorate our clubs with them to honor Joshua Graham. They were the weapons of his old tribe, so now they are ours. Can't say they seem that dangerous to me, but Joshua says they won the West. Only a little. I was very young. He was different. Prouder, yes, but harder, crueler, more driven. Really, I was terrified of him. We all were. When he came back, I almost didn't believe he was the same man. He was humbler. He wanted to protect, not destroy. Well, because they're our enemies. What else would we do? They take our land, they kill our scouts. They poach our hunting grounds. Ask away. He's been the chief of our tribe since he came back to the valley. He went off to the civilized world years ago to fight a war. That didn't go well. You see his face, you'll understand. I don't know. He doesn't talk about it much. Maybe. But how can two civilized tribes fight over something as small as a dam? Ha! <laughs> really? That's... my gods. Must be some mighty civilized folks who built that. <laughs> now you sound like Joshua. He always tells me that tribal life is better, that I should stay here and forget the outside world. Ask away. Go with fortune, friend. Hold up. See that log over there? Take a closer look. There might be some good stuff tucked in there.
We follow this path for a while. Nice view of the river. Yeah. was some kind of lucky. Guess that one was all full of gecko, eh? <laughs> Don't get used to it, though. Yaogwai are plenty mean as a rule. You can take the path north here if you want. Or head east over the ridge. There's a nice view from the top of that cliff, if you want a look. Fighting time. Some kind of view up here, eh? If you know how to look, you can spot all kinds of landmarks from up here. Look, I'll show you. What can I tell you? Go with fortune, friend. Follow the old road south. Nearly there. You see the dead sentries? Shamans say our enemy's souls are trapped in them. But Joshua says it shows we're serious about fighting white legs.
See those handprints? Dead horses and sorrows mark them on taboo places. Places from back when. Good thing for you I don't buy into that stuff. Down this path to the north. Hope you don't mind getting wet. These paintings show the dead horses' victories against other tribes. Lots more of them since Joshua came to us. Nearly there now. Watch out for traps in the water. Got to keep the white legs out somehow, eh?
Here we are. Joshua's just ahead there, in the Angel Cave. Auslander Zuka Joshua Graham. You know our tongue. Smart, Auslander. Joshua in high place of cave. You show respect, Utman. Joshua is greatest warrior. You show him no respect. He show you thunder and fire. You wise for Auslander. We should have given you a better welcome on your first visit to Zion. But from what I hear, the White Legs beat us to it. White Legs seem to be the only visitors we have these days. And I wouldn't have expected anyone from the Mojave to come looking for us. And you're a courier, no less. Not the one I was expecting, but I suppose he wouldn't have come with a caravan. I don't know if you were close to the other members of your group, but you have my sympathy. I pray for the safety of all good people who come to Zion, even Gentiles. But we can't expect God to do all the work. The dead horses are capable scouts. Nothing passes into or out of Zion without my hearing of it. Happy trails. I remember. They were good friends. I have bad news for your employers. New Canaan was destroyed, its citizens scattered. All because of the White Legs. And Caesar, of course. The White Legs want to join the Legion. Caesar's rite of passage is the destruction of the New Canaanites, almost assuredly because of me. The good news is that we can help you find your way back. Daniel, one of the other new Canaanites, has made many maps of the region. The bad news is that we can't help you right now, not with everything that's going on. You're a good neighbor to us. We all go through periods of darkness. In such times, we can turn to the Lord, but it's good to have friends. Daniel and I need pre-war tools to help us navigate beyond Zion. Should we need to evacuate, these instruments will be vital to us. Normally, we would have some of the dead horses or sorrows look for them. But many pre-war buildings in the valley are taboo. They won't go inside. We are responsible for leading and protecting the sorrows and dead horses. They are smart people, but not as worldly as you or I. 
I am preparing the dead horses for war. And Daniel is preparing the sorrows for other things. Thank you. Follow Chalk can help you find your way around the valley. He's inexperienced, but he knows enough of our language to ignore the taboos about pre-war buildings. Feels good to be doing some actual scouting, not just following. Welcome back. What can I do for you? Caesar would never admit this openly, but he knows that I'm alive. I've killed enough of his frumentari and assassins that have come looking. I've heard one of them travels the Mojave as a courier. Most of Caesar's agents meet a fitting end in NCR territory. But maybe this one survived. I am a new Canaanite. We believe we are the heirs of a spiritual tradition, given to our ancestors thousands of years ago. We have made and kept covenants with our Lord God to honor his laws. In exchange, we are promised eternal salvation after this life. A day will come when our Lord returns to judge us all. Until then, we must honor his laws and start others along the path of salvation if we can. That's why we trade with others and work the tribes. We have more than food and medicine to offer. Good news is our most valuable commodity. In a world filled with misery and uncertainty, it is a great comfort to know that, in the end, there is light in the darkness. Every day we move closer to our judgment. We must do our best to walk in the footsteps of our Lord and teach others how to do the same. For many of us, the road is a difficult one, but the path is always there for us to follow, no matter how many times we may fall. Every day, some days are harder than others. In the Great Basin and Colorado Plateau, all tribes are known for a specific weapon. White legs are known for their big submachine guns, storm drums. They broke into an armory near Spanish Fork and have been using them for years. Of course, the dead horses have their wooden war clubs, and even the sorrows have their Yao Guai gauntlets. This type of 45 automatic pistol was designed by one of my tribe almost 400 years ago. Learning its use is a new Canaanite rite of passage. We do. Though the White Legs destroyed New Canaan, they didn't destroy all of our supply caches. All forms of currency are recognized here. Caps, NCR dollars, even Legion coin. Take a look.
I wouldn't say that. I am the acting war chief for the Dead Horses. They look up to me for such matters, but I only have the authority they give me. Daniel is a spiritual leader and main link of the new Canaanites to the Sorrows. He's up in the Narrows right now. A great deal. There are three, make that four, tribes here in Zion. You've already met the White Legs on the way in. In this camp, you'll find dead horses. In the Narrows, the Sorrows. And finally, there's Daniel and myself. We're new Canaanites. They attack everyone who isn't a White Leg, especially caravans. They don't know how to survive on their own, so they have to raid. But as for why they are here, they are trying to wipe us out. All of us. They want to join Caesar's Legion, and they can only prove their worth by destroying the new Canaanites and everyone we shelter. Most don't. It's been hundreds of years since the war. They've developed their own languages. Take the dead horses. We think they were originally refugees from a place called Rez, east of the Grand Canyon. They speak a combination of Rez and a language spoken by travelers who were visiting Rez when the bombs fell. Over time, the two languages blended. I was a translator years ago, but it's hard to keep up with all of the tribal variations. The valley belongs to God, but no. The dead horses live at Dead Horse Point, up the Colorado River. They came here because I asked them to. Before I returned to the fold, I visited them years earlier. I looked much different then, but I left an impression on them. I taught them how to hunt more efficiently, how to maintain their weapons and pre-war equipment. When I returned, they showed their appreciation. The Sorrows have many skilled hunters among them, but no warriors. They have not had to deal with war or raiders for decades. Even though they can hunt a full-grown Yaogwai, they don't know how to deal with the White Legs. That's why we're here. We wear more clothing than them and understand more about technology. But we're still a tribe, a linked family of families. The Boneyard, Phoenix, New Vegas, they're just places, metal and stone. New Canaan dies, but the tribe lives on. When the walls come tumbling down, when you lose everything you have, you always have family. And your family always has tribe. Of course. Right now, I'd like you to focus on helping Daniel. Maybe there will be time later. God be with you.
Ja, Tag. I hear some odd things about the civilized lands outside Zion. Is there really a giant thunder lizard people live inside?
The spitter plants and the green monster men aren't native to Zion. Wonder where they came from. What can I tell you? Whew. Glad to hear it. That'll be some happy mama, huh? Thank you. Really, it means a lot to me. Best place to look for back when stuff is the taboo places. Sorrows and dead horses don't go in there. And even white legs don't like them much. Lots of them around the valley. Places built by the folk from back when. You'll know them when you see them. Scouts mark them with handprints. The handprints are a warning to keep out. Angry ghosts live inside. Not that I believe in angry ghosts. They're just spooky old places. Right? Lots of back when places to choose from. But for the things we need, Best to start with the really closed up places. Three I know of. A building down by the river called a fishing lodge. The old ranger station in the northwest, and the general store right by it. Closer to home might be something you can salvage from the place where the little ones fell, just west of the Eastern Virgin. In the river, there's a twisted pile of metal and glass, all full of bones. Joshua says they were scouts, but they looked awful small to me. Lots of that old stuff, uh, how do you say it, uh, electronics. Maybe you could use some of it. Ask away. Go with fortune, friend. Sure. You are going to leave me some chalk marks to follow, though, right? 